are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. So thanks for taking this interview. Um, so con first of all, congrats on being writing the role for the film Bharat, which is coming out this week. Uh, so how excited Thank are you, so you much. about? You're welcome. Um, how excited are you about the release of the film? I'm very excited, actually. It's uh, mixed emotions. I'm nervous and excited. Uh, so, you know, uh, a lot of emotions going through me at this moment. And, of course, it's exciting, yeah. It's like, you know, um, seeing your dream come true and, you know, watching yourself on the big screen always, you know, is something you look forward to because it gives a sense of uh, just, you know, amazement and uh, just watching yourself out there is is exciting just with the thought of that and tomorrow is the premiere so i'll be watching it with my family like my mom sister and i so all of us are thrilled and taking your family along and watching it with them for the first time is going to be even better <laughs> that's amazing so uh yeah. tell us a little bit about the role you play um for the viewers that will be watching the film this week tell us tell us about your role in the movie so I am a part of the family, right? So I play Salman's sister in it. And uh, um, the role is something I've not done before, you know, something I haven't attempted before. And uh, the different uh, time periods, if you see the trailer also, they've shown, you know, it uh, it, it, uh, it starts from 1940s, it goes up to 2000s. So we have to play uh, different age groups, uh, different time zones you know so that was very exciting for me because i've never done something i've never done something like this before you know so just uh, prepping to be an old person and also prepping to be a really young girl uh you know was exciting you know just going back to my young days and you know feeling that and also the time period you know it's it's, it's a period drama so I did a lot of research on those uh, eras, you know, and uh, those particular decades, which was, it really helped me layer my character in a lot of ways, you know, just understanding the way they used to dress up, the way they used to, you know, talk, or the way they used to, in, in, in those times, you know, the way they used to um, probably, you know, yeah, like dress up, talk, and their body language and all of that, you know, very, it's very different from today's world. Mm -hmm. So that I found very challenging and very exciting. And it helped me to raise the bar, you know, with the earlier performances that I've given so far. So, yeah, it's something I've not attempted before, and I hope I've done justice to it. <laughs> yeah, and that was about to be my next question. So, you know, were you apprehensive about playing an old woman? because obviously it was your first time. So out of the film, obviously it's a period film, what was the most difficult, what would you say, what would you most say the most challenging um, era was in the movie? Yeah, I think playing old is definitely challenging because uh, you've never experienced it, you know. It's, 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 of course, what you read and observe people. It's about observing and absorbing something you've not experienced, you know. So for me, Definitely growing old was a bit challenging. I, want, I wasn't apprehensive about it, but yes, it was, uh, you know, I need to do justice to this. It shouldn't look forced or it shouldn't look unreal. And that was most important to me, that it needs to look real. It needs to look believable. It can't just be, oh, you're playing old. That's it. You know, it has to, you have to try and understand like, I observed my mother a lot, you know, for uh, the old part, because uh, uh, it's a similar age that I'm playing, you know, mm -hmm. as as my mother is today. So that really helped. Uh, so observing, see, if you're not experiencing something, you can only observe and absorb it. Mm -hmm. That's all you can do. Mm -hmm. So, um, and you can read about it, and mm -hmm. you can, you know, just read and imagination I don't know how much you can leave these things to imagination when you have to play a real old woman you know so I wouldn't say imagining but yes watching and observing that age group was my main thing awesome so you've worked with um, Ali before on Tigers in the in the hair what what made you want to work with him and um, how were you approached for this role 
so of course ali's energy is you know it's really contagious mm-hmm. he's uh, someone i really enjoyed working with on tigers in the hair and of course you know when i got a call from mukesh chabra team for oh, bharat i screen tested for it and oh, and everything just fell into place you know and since i'd already worked with ali so then it just all happened very quickly and i was really excited to be on board because it was very different from what i did in tiger in tiger i was seeing a nurse and this something you know it's a family drama and mm-hmm. like i said you know different age groups and this drama so that was very exciting and you know ali's entire team and he himself is such uh, a positive energy on set you know it's always fun working with them because uh, you know it's important when like minded people come together and work on a film it just makes the whole process easier and it enhances your process uh, of film making you know in a very big way mm-hmm. so when you're working with uh, and you know it's amazing like ali's clarity is just amazing he's so clear with what he wants which makes your life very simple you know it makes it much easier to work with uh, people like that and of course how passionate he is about film making and cinema you can see that you know in his films and to be part of that to be part of that process i think it's uh, i feel honored actually you know okay. <laughs> i really feel honored so um i love working with ali and i hope to work with him in his all his films <laughs> <laughs> well i i bless you for sure and so um my my next question is you've been in tv in the tv industry for quite some time now and uh you've yeah. started to branch out to hindi c- cinema films which is amazing um what made you uh get that have that transition from from tv to to hindi cinema actually it's been organic you know the transition has been very organic mm-hmm. it hasn't been forced uh see for me you know it's about what the part does to me how it excites me so the medium doesn't really matter it's the part and that should excite me and it doesn't matter whether the part is big or small that really doesn't matter what matters is how is it helping me as a performer and how is it helping me to challenge my own limitations as a performer as an actor so that's what exa- excites me and the transition has been very organic you know it's just been like it it just happened i mean i was doing i started my career with television then for the longest time i was doing theater uh, i was doing this musical in delhi called sangura mm-hmm. you know so i was i was busy in delhi for 5 years i gave 5 years of my life to that and uh, of course while i was doing sangura i was also doing television i was doing a show uh, back in bombay and uh, so filmed i don't know it all just happened rangoon happened first then after rangoon tigers in the happened then after tigers in the head bharat happened so it's just happening you know it's not really planned or forced which i find amazing because mm-hmm. when you really force something down your throat or in your life i think it takes longer to happen when you just let it be and let time take its own course Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's when you start enjoying the journey, also. Of course, of course, agreed. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, my other question was for you was, how was it like working along with uh, Salman Khan on the sets? I mean, you've worked with him before. Um, and were there any learning curves or tips that he gave you while you guys were on set working together? So working with Salman so was firstly a pleasure, and of course a dream come true. So in Tigers in the Hair, I didn't get an opportunity to work with him because we didn't have scenes together. But in Bharat, I got plenty of these opportunities, and I'm really grateful actually. Um, working with him was amazing because uh, his again his energy, you know, is it's uh, you know you feed off his uh, vibrant energy. He's, he's There's this vibrancy about him, you know, which you feed off, uh, which 
I was, which was really inspiring because even after so many years to have that kind of passion is amazing. I mean, you know, just to sustain that kind of, you know, passion and the love for what you do mm-hmm. is amazing. And it was so inspiring for me just to watch him, you know. And uh, of course, you, I, you get to learn a lot from him, you know, just being on set and watching him. And just being around him because he's so inspired. And in fact, on this film, I got to work with a lot of good actors, you know, because in the ensemble is just amazing. And uh, there's some really good actors. So just watching each and every actor and learning so much from each one of them was amazing. And uh, I couldn't have asked for anything better. I had a blast on this film. Mm -hmm. I really did, you know. I, I really enjoyed shooting for this film. And... Mm, I had the best time actually. <laughs> I did, and of course, uh, Salman sir being Salman sir, he's just so like you know you're like in awe when every time he's on set you're just watching him and you're in awe. And, right, and that's what <laughs> the most amazing part. Of course, I was nervous. Uh, uh, you know, I was like, gosh, because you know you've also watched these people all your life and you know, uh, hoped that someday you'll get a chance to work with them. And when it's actually happening, Mm -hmm. it's a very overwhelming feeling, you know. You're overwhelmed with uh, so many emotions, you know, bursting out of your system. So I would say you had butterflies on the first day of the set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) I actually have butterflies on on every project. I mean, on every project, my first day is always, I'm a little nervous, and I think that helps me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The nervous energy definitely helps me to perform better. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I always have, like day one, day two, I'm about to hear action. I'm nervous, but once I hear it, then I'm there, you know, in that moment, just uh, embracing that moment. And I think as actors, that's what we're supposed to do, you know, just be in that moment and just give your best. Mm-hmm. So, um yeah, so uh, I'm just, my fingers are crossed. Let's see what people have to say about the performance of the film after they watch it. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, um, you know, the web series is becoming like the big thing now, especially here in America. You know, everywhere you go, people are talking about web series on Netflix, Amazon, um, all the OTT platforms. Um, what's your thoughts on web series? I mean, we're going from TV to now to film, now to digital um, what's your thoughts on, on web series? I think it's amazing. I mean, I've been watching some really good shows being made on uh, Netflix, Amazon, and many other platforms. And I think it's a, another great platform to showcase talent, and not just for actors, but, you know, all kinds of artists, which is amazing. And um, also, it's... Uh, since web is a very individual watching, you know, it's, it's very individual watching. So uh, there's so much you can do with it. And I'd love to be part of uh, something interesting. You know, I just watched Delhi crying now. What brilliant performances and what a brilliant show. And I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. So that's television in America, but we get to watch it here on uh, web, you know, like uh, mm-hmm. the uncensored episodes, like on Hotstar. Mm-hmm. So, I love it. I'd love to be part of such shows. The Crown on Netflix, you know, Delhi Crime, then Game of Thrones, and um, so many, actually, so many amazing shows, which I would love to be a part of. If something like that comes my way on any of the platforms, I'd grab it. (laughs) But of course, again, it depends on what I'm being offered and what the character is like and how am I able to raise the bar and, you know, just do something completely different and uh, so past my own limitations and do justice to that. So so I'm okay with any medium where you give me TV, you give me films, you give me web, you give me stage. I'm okay as long as I'm doing something. I have more to chew on as an actor. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. Well, you know what? I wish you all the best. We're very excited in the United States, especially in New York. People are very excited to see the films. Uh, We are hearing that it's being sold out for the next uh, few weeks out here in all theaters. So um, we can't wait to see you guys on screen uh, coming out this week.
Any last words for your fans and our readers at urbanasian.com? Firstly, thank you so much for all the kind words. Uh, yes, I just want to tell my fans that thank you. Um, I can't actually thank them enough. They've been really supportive and, you know, they've also waited very patiently for every project of mine mm-hmm. because, you know, my fans usually ask me, why do you take such long breaks, you know, <laughs> after the <laughs> project? It's just that I don't like doing things in a haste. I like to take mm-hmm. my time and give it my best. Right. So I want to thank them for being patient, you know, and really waiting and whenever you know, any of my work is out. They're the first ones to uh, send me good wishes and say really kind things to me. So a big hug to all of them and uh, a big hug to Urban Asia also. Thank you for this uh, interview. And I'm really looking forward to it. And all the best to you guys. Thank you so